There is no good games to play. As a phrase I find myself saying more and more the older I get. I no longer have the urge to come home and spend hours on a game. I no longer have incredible hype for any new games getting released. I often find myself circling back to old games I used to play that came out like 10 years ago. Like the likes of Counter Strike or Dota or Overwatch or some single player games like Red Dead. There is no new AAA title that I absolutely love and adore and can play for hours on end. In fact, most of the games being released that I got excited for were remasters. It is very, very rare a brand new AAA game excites me. Despite having like a Steam library full of games, a PlayStation full of games, and money to buy any really new game coming out, I still feel like there's no good games to play at the minute. And I sat thinking, why? Why is there no new game I am excited about? Well, um, I am getting old. I'm turning 22 this year. I have a job, I have hobbies, I have projects I work on outside of work. I have relationships, I have time to spend on different things. I don't really have hours to spend in video games anymore. I'm not like my greasy 13 year old self where I was able to sit for hours on a game just to unlock a gold skin. Now I don't even want to bother learning the basic game mechanics, which would make me worse at the game, and then that would result in my gameplay being less enjoyable. But despite me getting old, I don't think it's the reason I've lost excitement for most games nowadays. In fact, I think the real reason games are less exciting in 2020 is because they're no longer a passion project. There is no creativity in it anymore. And developers have like less wiggle room. They can't really play around or make something new and exciting. There is a set format that is followed by pretty much, if not every AAA title at the moment. And the creativity and passion is sucked out of these games because of the format that I believe every if not all, AAA games, big name games, have to follow. Video games are incredibly profitable and more popular than they have ever been. And that means bigger companies own the smaller companies who develop these games. These bigger companies have one thing in mind. Sales. These big companies have targets to meet. They have to sell the right amount of stuff. And for them to reach these sales targets, these big massive video games have to do two things. They have to be popular and profitable. With better technology, bigger teams, smarter teams, video games are amazing. But they take far too long to produce and they cost a lot of money. So big companies force developers to play things safe. Instead of trying to make some new wacky game, what they do is they take something that is popular and make sure it is very profitable. A prime example of this is Battle Royales. Battle Royales started as like a mod in Arma 2 or 3, I think it was Arma 2. From there, it went into PUBG. Fortnite copied PUBG, COD copied Fortnite, and the list goes on. Basically, they all copied each other. But that's because Battle Royale was so popular. So big companies will take a popular format because they know it will sell. There's no way it won't sell because everyone wants to play a Battle Royale. And if Call of Duty come out and go, look, we've got a new class Battle Royale, everyone's gonna be like, oh, I'll give it a go. So the popular game format essentially guarantees sales for big companies. But that isn't enough. The game has to be profitable. It has to make money. So here comes microtransactions. Whenever I was younger, if you went in and you handed 15, 20 pound over for a game, you got that game in full. There was no add-ons, there was no battle passes, there was no skins to be bought later down the line. You paid an upfront price for all the content. No game really has that. And I know the arguments there for like season pass as well. You're only getting skins. That skin is still content. I've never been a fan of microtransactions, even if they are only for skins. I know you don't have to buy the skins, but the whole idea it is it is still content. It is still content that is being withheld from you. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of free to play games that basically these skins allow the game to be free. And you know, I guess that's all right. And yes, I suppose there's argument that, well, these games cost a lot of money to make, so, and yada yada yada, I don't, I don't know. But these big companies setting sales targets, I believe is crippling video game. And it's an ever growing competitive market. It forces developers to play it safe. It forces them to basically develop a game that they know will sell. And it forces them to make games that they know will still make money well after its launch date. 
And these factors, to me, is what has sort of killed my excitement for video games. It takes the passion and creativity out of games. It turns them into what feels like reskins of every other game that I feel like I'm constantly putting money into, which I'm not even getting that good of content out of. Or maybe I am just getting old.